This is Eric Mother with Mother.com, April 19th, 2021. Let's take a look at the cryptos here. We're going to be taking a look at one of the instruments in the sector that has been doing great. As we take a look at where Ethereum, Bitcoin and Litecoin are trading. Let's take a look at the instrument and I'll explain why it recently had a big jump and what it looks like in the short term. And the instrument is Dogecoin. And we can see here for the month of April, it's been up as much as close to 700%, a huge run up. Now I'll come back to this current chart. And this is the monthly huge, huge move. But before we do that, let's go back to the previous run. And this takes us back to 2017, where we see that after being sideways, for almost three years there, it started moving and had a nice run into late to early 2018. So this big run up here, we can see that there's a breakout somewhere around here, a good entry right here. And then there's another breakout that took place, let's call it in December of 2017. Now, to be clear, these are huge percentage moves. This breakout here took the instrument from about 0 0.0025 to the highs here of 0 0.021. And incidentally, another close to 750% gain in this move right here, right there. So I want to discuss this breakout in 2017 so we can understand the recent breakout. They're all the same in terms of minimum requirement. We can see here the RSI and MACDs were moving to all-time highs because it was an IPO in a sense, or ICO. And we can see the other breakout. So this is the initial breakout. This is a monthly chart. Then we can see here a price breakout. RSI moves above 69.1. And we see that the MACDs again jump to all-time highs. Now again, I need to remind Remind us that this was after many years of sideways action that we get this explosive move. And this explosive move only began after it met the minimum requirements for the ultimate Moade breakout. And this is why I emphasize this as a timing method. So that was in late 2017 into early 2018. Now let's take a look at what happened coming into December of 2020. We, we have again this sideways action here. And this is from 2019 essentially. To late 2020 as of December 2020. End of December to be exact. So we have this sideways price action not very desirable in the eyes of momentum traders. But let's take a look at what, remember at this point as of December of 2020, we can see that Bitcoin had already moved. So we already had a little bit of, not a little bit, but actually a substantial indication of where things were going. Bitcoin had already broken out by, let's call it November of 2020. Ethereum had already blasted higher, as you can see here, as of late 2020. So there was indication that the sector was already seeing strong momentum, and yet Dogecoin had not moved substantially. Okay, as of late, end of December 2020. But if you take a look at your MACDs and your RSIs, you start seeing that there was reason to suspect that it was about to explode. And this is again based on the ultimate Moade breakout. 
we see that the RSI here jumping to three year highs. We see the MACDs just about to enter into three three year high status. In fact, we can conclude that it was already at three year highs. So there, as of December, it met the minimum requirements for the ultimate Muadi breakout after many years of not meeting that requirement. Which brings us to the current chart. Now, if you take a look at what happened as of January 2021, take a look at your MACDs and RSI. They already confirmed that this was showing signs. Remember, the entire crypto landscape was moving. And hence, having met the minimum requirements, this was in play. And again, another great reminder to understand the power of RSI 69.1. Now, as I've been saying, we've seen this movie play out many times, over and over again. If we go back to the 2000. 17 2018 time period we see the movie play out big move up eventually all of those gains were taken out we would go on to lose all those gains pretty much so we would say that was more than an 80 percent drop if not an entire 100 percent of those gains from the breakout here were taken out so this movie plays out all too frequently and of course, we know that it's going to play out again, that the next, at some point, the next major trend is going to be for giving back most of these gains. When that happens, nobody knows for sure. Which brings me to the current four hourly chart. And on the four hourly chart for today, we see that, yes, there's been this push to new four hourly highs here. But take a look at your RSI showing a decline. More importantly, RSI is being rejected with uniform activity around the RSI 69.1. So that negative divergence could begin the short-term pullback, if not a major high pullback, because of this RSI 69.1 uniform activity rejection. And I need to emphasize, even on this small time frame, notice how the power of price moves higher when the RSI is above 69.1. So understanding the power of RSI 69.1 can give you patience to let an instrument that is exploding continue exploring higher prices. If I zoom in now, we can see that this is now showing confirmed RSI 69.1 uniform activity negative divergence. And again, just to emphasize here or to clarify, we are seeing recently over the last couple of days, prices moving higher, essentially breaking out on the four hourly. And now below that breakout level. So that in itself is a red flag. And of course, we see that the RSI was rejected in the small time frame. This rejection took place with uniform activity around RSI 69.1, hence setting the stage for what could be a meaningful top or a short-term top. We shall see. This is Eric Moavith, Love light, light love, namaste.